name is Josie Lanzi from Newport Ritchie, Florida. And we're still in the appetizer week. And of course, it's all about Philadelphia cream cheese. So I wanted to thank Kraft ahead of time how great of a product they have because it's endless possibility of, of making dishes. But we're on the appetizer week and mother, um, Mother's Day is coming up this Sunday. And I'm going to dedicate this one to my mother which is a sweet French Canadian lady that loves appetizers. Anything small she loves. And so I'm dedicating that one for her. And I'm calling it today Philly Smoked Salmon Squares. They're going to be delicious. So I'm going to show you how I make them. What you need is a packet of flatbread. You can buy this in the grocery store. They come in the packet too. And you will need to use both of them. They're about seven inch by seven inch. And what you need to do is take both of them and on each side, brush them with olive oil, just a tad bit. And you wanna put them on a cookie sheet with parchment paper on 400 degrees for four minutes. You take them out, you flip them over, and you stick them back in the oven for four more minutes. After you've done that, you then take it out. And this is what I have here after the two step, four minutes one side, four minutes the other side. And to that, you want um, to add a thin coating of the whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. We love that Philadelphia cream cheese. And you just want to put, I hope you can see this because I am alone again today. Let me move this a little bit. Just a thin layer, just like so. And I get the whip, it's easier to spread. So it saves you some time. And this is kind of like a delicate appetizer. So um, the smoothest of the, the cream, um, Philadelphia cream cheese, uh, the whipped one is much better, I think. So we've done that. Then the next step is to take some red onions that you thinly slice and you wanna just scatter them on the top of the cream cheese like so. Those are gonna be so good. And you know, Mother's Day is only come once a year, but it should be Mother's Day every day if you ask me. Okay. So just like so, just a little bit everywhere. So you get, you know, the flatbread all covered up. To that, you wanna take some capers. And capers are salty, so with some cream cheese, a little bite with the red onion, and then you want to just spread out the capers because they are very salty, so you want to make sure you just don't get a big chunk, just salt, but just every little bite that you would take of these, you would have just a little bit of the creaminess of the Philadelphia cream cheese, and then the saltiness of the capers. Now the next step is to put it on, back on the cookie sheet that has parchment paper back in the oven for four min more minutes at 400. So I'm going to trade it because I've already had one done. Take this one over here, trade it. I have one done already. And I'll stick that one in the oven when we get done here. The next step is to take some smoked salmon, which you buy in the, in the grocery stores. All, most grocery stores have the smoked salmon now. And they usually come um, thin sliced, and that's what you want, in a four ounce package. And this is what the recipe calls for. So now the pizza, the flat and flatbread pizza, it kind of looks like a pizza, but it's really a, flat, a flatbread. And you just want to put your slices of salmon all over like so. Just like that, cover it up good. I want that salmon taste. Just like that. Here we go. A couple little pieces in the middle here. And then we're going to add a little color, but also a little flavor. And I grow my own herbs, so I have my own fresh dill, and that's what we're going to put all over the top. So you just want to put a little bit here and there and here and there. And my fingers have a little bit of oil from the salmon, so it's a little sticking to my fingers, but that's okay. Certainly not going to change the taste. And it's certainly not going to stop me from eating it. So this is what it looks like, pretty much. 
Now I'm going to take a pizza cutter and I'm just going to slice it, cut it up in squares. So I'm going to make four cuts this way. And then one cut across. He's so, so good, we don't want it tiny, tiny. We, we want to get to enjoy it when we get our piece. Now I'm gonna plate them. Oh, yum, this looks so good. My mother's gonna love this. She's just gonna love it. It's gonna make me so happy to see her smile and give me the thumbs up on my dish. She's great encouragement, including all of you, the real women of Philadelphia, I tell you. You also need to try this one, perhaps on Mother's Day for your mom. So there you have it, a little garnish. Like that. I'm gonna try to show you this nice plate. Let me move that to the side. So invited. I'm gonna to try to pull it up for you. See? Okay. So there you have it. Now we have here two, four, six, eight pieces. So two per person is serve up to eight because this will make two. I just demonstrated one for you today. And then of course you'll have a toast for Mom's Day on Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one for you and see how they taste. Mmm. 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 They're delicious. The saltiness of the capers, the smoked salmon with the smooth cream cheese to soothe it down. The flat bread just a little crunchy. Mmm. Delicious. You will not regret this one. This is like a fancy style of hors d'oeuvre, but it's for mom. She surely is well worth it. So today I'd like to leave you with thank you real women of Philadelphia and I want to wish all the ladies out there that are mothers a very happy Mother's Day. Toast to the mothers. Bye everyone.